Hello there, welcome back. This is start of a new video series uh, in learning PySpark. To learn PySpark, PySpark environment has to be set up in our machines. To set up PySpark in our machine, Python is mandatory. This video series assumes that you have installed Anaconda Python in your machines. We will try to set up PySpark environment and we'll set up Jupyter Notebooks on top of PySpark environment and we'll also use IDEs for running our uh, PySpark jobs. This setup is simple and straightforward and simplifies the process of learning Spark. We don't have to maintain any Hadoop cluster or we don't have to install any Hadoop packages in our machine to learn PySpark. We just have to have Python in our machine and create a PySpark environment in Python. So let me open Anaconda prompt quickly. Anaconda prompt. And once the prompt is available, I'll show you how to create a new environment uh, and set up PySpark. So for this, let me show what are the available environments in my uh, local machine. I can do that by using uh, the command conda env list, which will, which will show all the environments which are created in my machine. Let's create a new environment for PySpark and then uh, install PySpark within the environment. So for doing so, let me create a new environment using conda create hyphen n and give the environment name which you would like to have. I would like to give PySpark env as my environment name and yes, I would like to create over there and the environment is created. To activate the environment, we can use conda activate PySpark env, right? And the environment has been changed that you can see over here right earlier it was a base environment and right now it has been switched into PySpark environment if you want to come out of the environment you can just do conda deactivate right let me again activate the environment So in this environment, uh, I would like to create uh, PySpark packages. For doing so, I can do something called conda install PySpark. It's as simple as that. So it will fetch all the packages which are required for the PySpark installation. And you can see there are these are the packages which are required. And I'll go ahead and give my answer as yes. And you can see that installation is complete. And to check or to validate the installation is successful or not, uh, we can do go in, launch the Python terminal. Once you are in terminal, uh, give import PySpark and it doesn't throw an error. So let's again try PySpark dot SQL import Spark session. And you can see that uh, there is no issue here, right? That's it. We have installed PySpark environment in our machine. We don't have to install any uh, extra packages or we don't have to install or set up any Hadoop uh, installation or we don't have to set up any HDFS environment. You don't have to do all those stuff. You just install a package which is PySpark and our environment is ready, right? It, it is straightforward. And let me come out of the environment and let me list the environments which are available in my machine. And you can see there are two environments currently over here, right? So whenever I'm using my IDE, I can specify the new environment which uh, which points to PySpark env and uh, use that Python version to use PySpark. Now, once Jupyter packages are installed, you have to install IPOI kernel as well so that our environment, whatever we have, that is linked with the Jupyter lab. So let's see what are the kernels that are available in the Jupyter. Jupyter kernel spec list. So you can see there is only one kernel that is created uh, that is for Python 3. We have to create kernel for uh, PySpark environment also so that it, uh, this kernel is visible in uh, Jupyter lab or Jupyter notebooks in the browser. So to do that, we have to do Python hyphen M I P Y kernel install user name 
and I have to give my environment name which is PySpark env. So you can see now uh, the link has been kernel spec has been installed and we can check the kernel spec install uh, we can check the kernels available. There are two kernels available which is PySpark env and Python env. Now we can open Jupyter Lab. Jupyter Lab. Now we should be able to see PySpark environment as well in the browser. Now we can see this. You can see the PySpark environment, right? So let me open here. Let me check if it is created properly or not. Let me import PySpark from PySpark. Dot SQL import Spark session, and this is also imported properly. And let me create a Spark session again. Spark session dot builder dot app name Jupyter. And I'll get or create a Spark session. Now I'll open the Spark session as well. Now you can see that the Spark session has been created, and uh, the Spark session is in memory. And you can also have a look at the Spark UI for this particular Spark session, which is created. This Spark session is available in this uh, uh, Jupyter notebook. My machine consists of 16 cores and all the 16 cores are uh, took by the Jupyter. We can also customize this uh, uh, as normal uh, Spark configuration, how we customize uh, the number of cores which we take. In a similar way, we can also customize the number of cores uh, and other configurations which we want to uh, set for the Spark. Those things we'll learn in detail in the coming uh, uh, videos and uh, this video was mainly uh, towards installing PySpark uh, environment in Anaconda Python, which is very simple and straightforward way. It's as simple as installing any other uh, Python package in uh, Anaconda Python. Or even you can do the same thing with uh, normal Python as well. Instead of uh, Conda install, you have to go with pip install and PySpark. Uh, PySpark environment would be set up for you. So that's it for this video lecture, guys, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye, take care, happy learning.